guys want to see how to um, get this just really just I feel like natural in a way. It's definitely a natural eye. Very simple eye. But your face looks great and healthy and glowy. And it's going to cover and last a long time at a super affordable price because it's all drugstore that I'm using today. So if you guys want to achieve that look and just really look awake for work or if you just want to go run errands, then just keep watching and do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. So I'm just going to go ahead and get straight to the point with this and get right to it. Okay, so you guys, I am going to go ahead and start off by saying I have went ahead and prepped my skin with my moisturizers. And I use something different than I typically always use, but I love these primers a lot. I mean, not primers. Moisturizers a lot also. This one's called the Amore Pacific Moisture Bond Rejuvenating Eye Treatment Gel. And it's like this, and this is what I use for my eyes. It's just like a, I've used a lot of it. It's just like a white clear in a way. Oh, it kind of smells pretty good. It honestly reminds me of the beach. And then uh, for my face, I use the Estee Lauder Daywear, the Multi-Protection Antioxidant 24-Hour Moisture Cream. And it does have an SPF of 15. I really like this as well. I've used a lot of it. It's These aren't like my favorite favorites, but they're really good. They are like probably the next below in line of my favorites. And then for my lips, I did use the Lucas Pop Ointment. This right here, I love this. I think you can use this for... A lot of things it just works best for my lips it really moisturizes them and I don't notice that they crack or anything while I use this at all but the look we're gonna go for today is going to be your work day you can wear this for everyday work day or you can also wear this if you want to go run errands and you just want to look awake and fresh but this probably isn't like a night out look because it's really we're not even really doing any eyeshadow or anything we're just gonna make ourselves look awake so I wear this mostly when I work and then if I just want to go somewhere and I don't want to just go out with no makeup, this is what I would typically do. So to start off, I'm going to use the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. This right here is my favorite. I actually use it before I start and then after in the end because it just gives me that really nice look. It just pulls everything together, I feel like. And, and apparently it's really good for your skin. I used to have a smaller one and then I got the bigger one because I love it that much. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray this. And you can spray as much or less as you want. I just spray a decent amount because I really do like it. And then I'm also going to be using only drugstore today just to show that you do not have to use high-end products to get a long lasting and a good look. Like you don't have to. Now, of course, more high-end is probably going to be better and a little bit more long-lasting. But honestly, these products are amazing. And they last me all day because I work. And I sweat all day. And they last. So, I've used that and I know that I love that. But the, this is going to be the first time I'm trying this. It's the NYX uh, Professional Makeup Pore Filler. It's right here. I've never used this before. I'm going to squirt. And I have to use something pore filling because I have pores, really bad ones. And it just looks like this. It looks pretty promising. It has like a tint to it, which I really do like that. And I mainly just focus this on my T-zone really. Like especially on my cheeks right here and my nose. And then I usually just do excess of whatever I'm using for pore filler on my nose. Forehead and a little bit on my chin, and that does feel pretty good. But we'll see if it does really work. Okay, and I did go ahead and um, dampen my. This is not my beauty blender. This is my Morphe sponge. I've only used it like once. I don't know. I don't even remember if I fully like it. But I'm about to tell you. And for the foundation, I'm going to be using the Ellie Girl Pro Matte. HD High Definition Long Wear Matte Foundation, and I'm in the shade stand in this, or I'm actually not sure if I am now, but we're going to work with it because it's what I got, but it's like, it just looks like this, and I love it because it has a pump, and this is super affordable, and it seems to have very good coverage for me, and it lasts me all day, so I usually just pump some um, on my hand right here, I'm just going to take two pumps right now and we have to have more and then I just get
get some on my beauty blender and then I just start blending it out on my face. tracked down my neck a little bit and all my ears and it seems to be a pretty good match still for me and for concealer I'm gonna use the Maybelline better or super stay better skin and I have the shade 20 which is the light this is a really good affordable drugstore concealer it's one of my favorites Maybelline has a lot of great concealers so and then I just put this under my eye I put a lot because I love concealer and you always want your concealer to be a shade or two lighter than your foundation to really highlight and brighten and then I put it on my eyelids because I'm on my eyelids so you blend it and matched in and this really does help open and brighten up your eyes also and then um got that all done we look a little crazy we're just gonna use our sponge and we're just gonna blend that all out and again with this, you really want to dab and press it into the skin. And every time I do underneath my eyes, I always try to look up when really blending it out so that I don't get any uh, creases or anything like that. <laughs> And I just use the translucent extra coverage. Now, the packaging, I'm afraid I'm always going to um, dump it out. I'm afraid the lid will come off if I have it in a bag or anything. And it is pretty messy. But right here it is. And it has a pretty strong scent. Reminds me of like, I don't know what it really reminds me of. But I actually enjoy the scent of it. And then I, instead of using a brush for this, I'm going to use my sponge and I'm just going to get some on there like that and I just go and I set everywhere and I make sure I get the under eyes set very well and then I just press it in all over my face I do not um, do swap emotions again I always just press it right in so we'll go ahead and do that and I do this everywhere I don't just do it where I put the concealer but I definitely make sure where my concealer is especially in my under eyes but it's set very well. And then I do with the rest of my face. skin right here and I don't typically have dry patches because I am pretty oily especially in my t-zone but 
I did recently go to the beach and I got burnt so I'm peeling a little bit and I'm a little bit more dry than I would usually ever be so that's a new for me and that is really bugging me because I've loved this foundation and have used it Ooh, but just keep in mind if you have dry patches it looks like it's clinging right here on my skin I don't know if you can see that but it definitely looks like it's clinging on this side I don't really notice it that much I don't really notice a lot of clinging right here but definitely right here I feel like I for sure see it and even it's not like dried up foundation that I didn't just blend because I'm going over and trying to keep blending and it's just it definitely looks like it's clinging but we'll see how it continues to go and then I'm gonna go ahead and contour and for this I'm gonna use the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blends and Natural Radiance Bronzer it's in shade 30 Sunkissed this has been dropped and it kind of broke a lot if you can tell from my pan right here but it is a pretty good bronzer and for the contour to contour on my face, I'm going to use my Morphe brush M501 right here. I'm going to go ahead and contour. And I usually just mix the shades, all four of them, because there's, you can't really see this one, but there is like four different shades. And I usually just mix them, and then I tap the excess off. C brush right here and I'm going to put some underneath my uh, bottom lip because this really makes a good shadow for it and it gets the illusion that your lips a little bit more pouty and a little bit more big and then um, I'm going to of course because I feel like I have a bigger nose than what I want so I'm going to do my nose of everything but I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out that's what it looks like but for this I just use my Morphe M462 brush which is the brush I used to blend literally everything on my face I feel like it's definitely one of my favorite brushes and you just contour to your preference whatever you feel is best and I'll blend that a little bit more after we're bronzed and have blush. But for my bronzer, I'm going to use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in Deep Bronzer. Just looks like this. And this again smells so good. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to get over that. And for bronzer, I'm going to use my Tarte Mermaid brush. And I do this in the shape of a three, pretty much. I do my forehead. And then I bring it down into my uh, cheeks. And then I'll bring a little bit down here. And I'll just go ahead and add more, as much bronzer as I want. I'll get it to the shade that I want it to be. And then I'll just do that other side the same exact way. <laughs> everything blend a little bit better 
And then we're gonna go ahead and go in with blush. I'm getting these on the Wet n Wild color icon. It is in shade Rose Champagne. And it just looks like this right here. This came with a little brush in here and I have just threw it out away. And for this, I'll be using the Morphe E4 brush. Just looks like that. And I do just a slight smile because it really helps me with the placement of where I want this to be at on my cheeks. And then after that, I'm going to go back in with my brush, my Morphe M462 brush. And I'm just going to blend everything together and make sure there is no harsh lines on my face. And use my air sun air sun <laughs> air spun powder right here in my one morphe sponge and i'm going to really try to carve out that line in case i got any contour or blush any lower than i want it to be and i just get some of my brush or my brush my sponge here and i just carve that out and i'm gonna let it sit there and bake for a minute carved out and we're gonna let it sit down and bake and then I did get um this new revolution palette right here for highlight this is a soap x it's the highlighter palette it looks pretty good I've never tried this before but it does look pretty promising I'm gonna go ahead and get it out it has a lot of highlights which I really like on highlighters I feel like if you were one to do, um, you know, they even have a purple in here, so you can really do a lot in here. And this is really affordable for this many highlighters. And for me, I'm going to be using my Anastasia A23 brush. Looks like this. You can use whatever highlight brush that you always use. And I think I'm going to mix these two shades right here. And we're going to see what we get. I may also add that in there. But we'll see. I'm just going to tap the excess off. And we're going to see what we get. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and mix in the other um, darker shade right here. And we're just going to see... Um, like I feel like I'm very glowy from this highlighter like this is definitely not blended out yet but this is a super affordable highlighter too. And I don't feel like it's accentuating my pores anymore. That way any highlighter glowed at all. It doesn't want to bring any attention to them. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that out a little bit into my skin. And then I'm going to dust that bake away where I had carved out that. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you something really simple that I thought really helps my eyes look like they have a little something, but not really something. And for this, we are going to use our uh, Physicians Formula Deep Bronzer that I had to use on my face. And I'm going to be using my Morphe M441 brush for this. And I just get some on there. And I always tap the excess off. And then I really just put this in my crease. And I will bring a little bit down here on the edge of my eye. And you can make this as dark or as light as you want it to be. I do like it to have just a little bit of color right here. And 
like you can really tell the difference that that makes in your eyes just by having that little bit of bronzer right there and you can use that eyeshadow if you want it's just easier because you've already used this all on your face and it's really going to match your face <music> And one, two, four brush. This is my eyeshadow brush. I really like to pack on the shadows with. And for this, I think I'm just going to mix these two shades that I had originally mixed on my face before I added in that little dark one. And then I'm really going to put this in the corner of my eye. And then I'm going to mix all three of those shades that I did use on my face earlier, which is this one, this one, and that one right there. And I'm just going to put this really on my eyelid. And I will not bring it all the way out because I did put that bronzer right there. I'll just bring it about halfway pretty much and I'll just blend that together with the bronzer. <laughs> And then I will go ahead and take my Morphe M515 brush. It's really small. This really just gets on my lower lash line very well. And I'm taking that Physicians Formula Bronzer again. I'm just getting a little bit on my brush. And I'm really going to drag this down on my lower lash line and connect it with that bronzer at the top. <music> retractable eyeliner and it's in the black and I'm going to put this on my top waterline I just thought that really helps when I put mascara on it makes everything just really blend together that's right here will open your eyes it's the next retractable um eyeliner and we're just using the shape white and I will put this on my lower waterline. And if I feel like I've got any down below I'll just try to pop that out with my sponge. And then I'm gonna do my eyebrows. And for this, I just use my Milani Brow Fix Kit in the shade 01 Lot. Whoa. And I just use that lighter shade right here. And I'm going to be using my Billion Dollar Brow Brush. It's just the eyebrow brush. A little spoolie on the end and then the brush to apply it with. just try to blend some of my eyebrow product right in the corner and I'm not necessarily really clean with this because I always just go back and clean it up with concealer and really get that shape I want with it <laughs> Just use that concealer that I used on my face earlier to do so. And if I feel like I need to go back in with any brow product, which I already see I'm going to need to, then I will go ahead and do that either before or after I clean it up. 
And then I just shape this the way I want with my brush and my concealer. So I'll just take my sponge and I'll really just blend that concealer in with my skin. And then I'll use the Brow Gal, the Instant Tint Light Hair Shade 03. It looks like this. It just gives my eyebrows just a little bit color and that really sets them into place. And then I'll be going back in with this highlighter palette and I'll be mixing these two shades right here with my Morphe and 124 brush, the one I used for my eyelids. And this is what I'll be using just to highlight the brow bone. <music> my lashes to get them ready for some mascara. And for mascara, I'm going to be using my favorite drugstore mascara that I have found it is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. I love this one and then I also love the purple one in this. I think I may love the purple one just a little bit better. But this I've run out and this is what I have and I love it as well. And then for my lips, I've never tried the lip. I've tried some of Maybelline's lips and I really like them, but I've never tried the one I'm going to be using today. But first, these two don't really match that well, but I'm going to put the liner all over my lips as well. So I think it's going to be a pretty decent color. Before I do, I'm going to go ahead and wipe that foundation that's on my lips off. And then I will be using the Pilatio uh, Lip Liner, and it is in the shade Gingerbread. And I'll just be lining my lips with that. in the shade 450 it just looks like this it's a very pretty color because you just want to go with a simple color that's going to kind of be like a nude just a little bit of something on your lips <laughs> And then there, that is, I actually really do like 
like that kind of combo with that and I do like that lip color. And this isn't matte, like it's going to make you look, you know, like just a little something and a little color on your lips. And then I'm going to go ahead and spray my uh, facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water to really set everything in and just to give a little bit of fresh of a lot and make my skin feel good again. And with that, you can spray as much as you prefer to. And then this is the final completed finished look. You can wear this if you want to just go run errands. And you can also just wear this to work on an everyday, daily basis because this is pretty much what I do to go to work. I just wear this. It, gives, it just shows that, you know, I feel like a little bit more awake. I look a little bit more awake and I just feel good about myself. And it doesn't take forever because I'm not just sitting there focusing on eyeshadow. I'm just really making my skin look good and my eyes just feel awake. And thank you guys for watching. Bye. So I do want to go ahead and get my final thoughts on this Naked Revolution Highlighting Palette. I do really like it and it's super affordable and you get all of these highlights. And it, I really do like this and it did definitely do the job. It's not powdery. It just really makes my skin look fresh. And like it's got just a little bit of glow. And I would definitely um, keep using this. I do love this. And then on the Maybelline lipstick, I love it. Um, it just gives my lips just a little bit more color. And definitely not dry, but not too glossy because it's not a gloss. But it definitely just makes them look fresh and just really cute. And I do like this color a lot because it's not a lot and it's not just not there either. So this is just like a perfect color. And I do really like that um, lip liner I had used with that. I think it really did help it and change it. So overall, the two things that I did try out new today, I did really enjoy as well.